Hey guys, it's Dave from Diddy Drums. Welcome to the lesson on how to play Heart Shaped Box by Nirvana on drums. Now today's lesson, we're going to go through all the drum parts. In fact, if you want to get the sheet music, you can from the description section below. It has all the drum parts transcribed for you. All right, now this is a really cool song, very rock, okay? It's in 4-4 and it's played at 100 BPM, so 100 beat, beats per minute, okay? Now let's go through all the drum parts and hey, if you have any uh, requests for uh, songs you'd like to learn, please pop them in the comment section below because yeah, we do do uh, requests on this channel for any you know, songs you might want to learn. And hey, let's get started. Here's how it sounds, the intro and verse beat, okay? It sounds like this. All right, so you can see it's a four bar pattern, okay? And pretty much each line is the same, except the first line is one thing different about it to the second line. So the first line doesn't have the bass drum on the count one, okay? Only the first time you play the first line, it has the bass drum, but after that, it doesn't play that first bass drum, okay? And you'll see that's why it has a bracket around it, okay? It has a bracket around it because sometimes he leaves it out the drummer of uh, Nirvana. Who's, who's that? <laughs> of course, Dave Grohl, right? So he leaves the bass drum out of the, the count one. And by the way, I think it's extraordinary that he's a singer for the Foo Fighters, such a talented guy. I mean, such an iconic musician for you know, the 21st century. So amazing musician, amazing drummer, amazing, amazing singer. So anyway, let's get on to the next part of the song, which is the the feel that happens at the end of the verse, okay? And then that sounds like this. So basically just using the floor tom, snare drum, bass drum, and going one and two and three and four and ah uh, on the snare on the ender, okay? You've also got the crash cymbal on the very first beat there. Okay, the next part of the song is the chorus, and that's a 16 bar section, okay? There's like three lines, except the first line is repeated twice, okay? so. Here's how the first line sounds. And so that first line is repeated twice, which makes eight bars there, okay? If you want to get all the nitty gritty, I'll definitely recommend getting the sheet music because then you can have it right there in front of you. In fact, you can see while I'm doing this lesson, I'm reading the sheet music too. It helps to remember 
all the different parts. Okay, then the, the second line sounds like this. That's all that's different about that line is that last bar, which goes. All right, pretty cool line. Then the last line of the chorus sounds like this. So, you know, that, that line is very different to the other lines because, you know, the beat there, one and two and three and four, and then you've got the fill. And then that beat again. And then that last fill. I really like that last fill because you open the hats in the forehand, which leads you into the to the verse again, like this. So once again, if you're gonna get all nitty gritty and learn it really well, definitely get a copy of the sheet music, it'll really help you. All right, next section we're gonna go through is the bridge. It's a four bar section, and here's how the bridge part goes. All right, now we're on to the ending fills in this song, okay? So there's this really cool 16th note fill that happens in the song, and here's how it sounds. I'm gonna be completely honest, that's a lot of fun to play that fill. It's simple, but just a lot of fun. Just getting that groove. I mean, drumming seriously is a lot of fun. Guys, if you like drumming and drumming's completely cool, definitely hit the like button on this. <laughs> Okay, the final fill sounds like this. Guys, if you got some value from the lesson, please hit the like button. It makes a big difference to this channel. Also, if you want to get the sheet music, you can from the description section below. That's if you want to learn it really well, like really nitty gritty. Just, you know, if you're a maniac for learning things really well, then definitely get it. It's going to help so much. And uh, subscribe for more lessons like this on the channel because, you know, this channel is all about learning the drums, whether you're a beginner, intermediate or whether you're trying to be advanced like me or somewhat like that. I think I am trying to be advanced, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it, guys. Just like you, all right? We're in this together. That's what Diddy Drums is all about. Have an awesome day, guys. See you next time.